In this demonstration, we'll look at an overview of Vectorworks 3D technology. What's most notable about 3D modeling in Vectorworks is all the different forms it can take, with different types of modeling for different types of tasks. Let's take a quick look at some of the ways 3D objects are created in Vectorworks. Many basic 3D shapes are created from 2D profiles, making for easy integration with your 2D CAD drawings. For example, any 2D object can be selected and extruded. These two objects can be used to make a multiple extrude, which extrudes from one 2D profile to the other. A tapered extrude creates a shape with sloped sides and the sweep command can be used to create this 3D shape from a 2D circle and a locus point. The history of all these 3D solids is retained in the drawing. By double clicking I can return to the original 2D shape for editing and any changes made in this editing window will be reflected in the 3D shape. I can also model directly in 3D. A variety of tools let me create basic geometric forms such as these extrudes, spheres, and cones. The NURBS curve tools let me make more complex shapes. Curves like this can be used in combination with a 2D profile to create extrude along path objects. To make it easier to model directly in 3D, Vectorworks has an adjustable working plane. With a single click, the working plane can be placed on an existing face and the next objects drawn now align to that face instead of the ground plane. Other 3D objects are made with parametrics, tools that create complex objects by entering a few simple parameters. They can be quickly reconfigured by changing the fields in the object info palette. At any time, the parametric object can be ungrouped, breaking it down to its component pieces and giving you the flexibility to modify the components individually. These are just a few examples of parametric tools found in Vectorworks, but hundreds of them are available in the different packages of the Vectorworks industry series. And through the use of VectorScript, Vectorworks built-in scripting language, new custom parametrics can be created by third-party developers or by interested users. Another unique property of Vectorworks is the ability to create hybrids, objects that have 2D graphics in one view and separate 3D graphics in another view. Hybrids allow you to make drawings that do two jobs at once, in this case, a floor plan with objects that follow normal drafting conventions in 2D also contains the 3D model for the building. Object types such as walls, floors, columns, and roofs all contain hybrid properties. As well, many of the parametric tools in Vectorworks automatically create hybrids. And any Vectorworks symbol can be made into a hybrid object. The roof commands in Vectorworks are good examples of how these tools are specifically designed to the needs of a design discipline. Here I have a polygon selected that represents the footprint of a building. I'll choose Create Roof from Polygon, enter values such as the eave profile, bearing height, and roof pitch, and a hybrid roof object is placed on the drawing. And of course, Vectorworks also has a full suite of NURBS modeling tools for the creation of all kinds of complex curved surfaces. Take a look at the other movies in this series to find out more about how these tools can be used. Vectorworks has a package of 3D modeling tools that are powerful and simple to use. When combined with the high quality ray traced renderings created by Renderworks, it's a great combination for creating and presenting your 3D designs.